for the co-main event. AJ, um, neither of us hit on this one, man. We both missed big on Devin Clark versus Ian Kutalaba. But I'll tell you what, man. In the past, I've criticized Kutalaba because I have felt that he fights too emotional, right? You know what I mean? Against Magomed Ankalov, the killer, the, the future light heavyweight champion. I keep crowning him here. Hopefully he gets a shot one day, but uh, I think that was the problem with him. He first fight gets too emotional, tries to storm across the cage before the fight, gets knocked out. How embarrassing. You come back, all right, I have to avenge myself, get knocked out again. How super duper embarrassing, you know what I'm saying? You come back, he gets the dub in his next fight, then fights this one. And uh, listen, man, who would have expected? I know that he he did Greco-Roman rolling, uh, growing up, and he's a combat sambo guy and a judo guy. But I did not expect him to work Devin Clark on the feet and on the ground in this matchup, man. I told you Devin Clark always looks uncomfortable on the feet. He looked uncomfortable on the feet in this one. That's what really lost him in the fight. But the thing that was the X factor that really gave him no chance is that when he looked to do the wrestling exchange, exchanges, Kutalaba just put it on the man he looks so scary man and they're saying bald bearded Ian Kutalaba that's the mythical fighter AJ what do you think absolutely mythical fighter man he looked like a, a completely new fighter too yeah. very calm very composed and strong like in the in the exchanges he looked like he wasn't even sweating too much I, obviously he was sweating but he didn't look like it was that hard for him or you know like he I expected a lot more uh, resistance from Devin Clark, and it was kind of a Kutalab was throwing him around a little bit. It was very impressive to see, and I didn't didn't see it coming at all, my man. That's why I made him fighter of my of the night for me, man. Very impressive win for Kutalaba. Did you get any uh, deer in the headlights type vibes from Devin Clark in this fight? Yes, and even before he got cracked in the mouth with that knee, I was still seeing that deer in the headlights. Like he was definitely expecting to out wrestle Kutalaba, and once he felt his power, once he felt kind of what was going on, he's like, "Oh shit!" Like, all right, well, it's gonna be a long one tonight, boys. Speaking of that, man, so I felt like one. This was one of those moments where Devin Clark just overestimated his abilities. I honestly believe that because even in the, pre, in the when they're introducing himself, you know, Young Kutalaba, he walks up and he goes, "Yeah, you know, does all that." Devin Clark was looking at him, he was all like, oh, yeah, "Look at that funny guy, right?" You know, and for folks just listening, I'm impersonating. You know, he's doing the the throat slash and all that, just like mimicking, mocking Kutalaba in a way. And then he ended up the fight, you know, with the photo that I showed, right, where dude's got his teeth smashed. Here, I'll bring it up again. Again, look at that dude's teeth is pushed back and all that yeah you know viewer content warning or whatever but so you go from talking mess doing all that stuff to having to basically fight for your life and determine whether you're going to give up on the stool or not man so um with that being said hats off to Ian Kutalaba man like I said what I mean do you think there was some revelations man obviously tough losses make you ask some tough questions man go to the drawing board and say what the hell is going on why am i not winning these fights you know what i mean dude is putting on for his country of moldova man he's one of the very few to represent that country so you know there's additional pressure there but do you think it was just like a a, a psyche change a mental change man because phys physically i mean everything is still the same right there it's just he's approaching the game differently and he's utilizing and leaning on his wrestling more than ever it looks like it doesn't it it looks like he's had not not just uh, a strategy change but a mentality change as well because i mean he don't get me wrong his his gas tank is always going to be in question but it was it, it he answered some questions going forward because he was still gas at the end of the fight like at, when he was having his interview you could tell he was still thinking it was hard he was breathing hard so you know the gas tank is still there still an issue but he was able to control it which in like mind over matter on that one because i'm sure he was hurting um but yeah no it, it looked like he actually was able to make that mental change and with i forgot i don't have his numbers up right now but i know before he got into ufc and even for a little bit in the ufc he was streaking he was yeah. doing well he was on a, he was on a dub streak until he started to hit the upper echelon of the fighters so i'm sure in in it had to be a, a, a realization of something going forward that actually mattered to him, which is good to see in a fighter, man. You don't see it a lot of times. Absolutely, man. So I will say this is his first decision win since 2016, man. This is actually his first win, I believe. Or not his first win, but first couple wins since like 2019, right? He was on a pretty rough streak or whatever. But first decision win since 2016. I don't know what the odds on him winning via decision were. They're probably pretty crazy because most people most likely did not expect that. I thought Clark would get it done via decision, but uh, shows what I knew on this one. Jan Kutalaba did close his minus 140 favorite, so clearly the odds makers. This is something I talked about. I was like, yo, the odds are a little crazy on this one, man. But odds makers knew 
was something we did, and maybe they understood that uh, Devin Clark on the feet, still a work in progress, man. But uh, third round, Devin Clark. I mean, that's when you started to see Kusalaba for a quick second be like, hold on, what, wait, what are you doing, bro? I thought I already – that's the one thing that you start to see, right, is when he starts putting it on somebody and then someone starts coming back, kind of doesn't know what to do. Just like, oh, shit, yeah, okay, I guess I got to fight for my life here. So for Devin Clark to finish the fight in an advantageous position, which he did – um, I think that kind of gave him a little bit of a moral victory. At the end of the day, big win for the Hulk, man. Moves to 16, 6, and 1. Um, you know, and listen, he's calling out Anthony Smith, man. Not going to get it, but I mean, listen, use, use your opportunity when you got it, man.